The government is on course to collect more than £5 billion in inheritance tax this year thanks to rising house prices and a heavier approach by the taxman. Inheritance tax receipts have surged by 14.6% since April compared to the same period last year as the tax man collected £3.7 billion from people's estates, official figures shows. An additional residence nil rate band of £100,000 per person was introduced in April which effectively takes the threshold at which it becomes payable to £850,000 for family beneficiaries. However, since the new residence nil rate band was introduced, inheritance tax receipts have leapt by £472 million when compared to the same time last year. Financial service provider NFU Mutual believes this signals a more aggressive approach by HMRC, as the recent surge in tax receipts coincides with the introduction of new rules. Sean McCann, chartered financial planner at NFU Mutual, said, It's clear that the taxman is cracking down hard on inheritance tax by looking more closely at people's estates and challenging claims for reliefs. You'd expect the introduction of the residence nil rate ban would see receipts flatten out or even fall a little bit, but the opposite is happening. When inheritance tax receipts rise, it's usually because of a boy in housing market. But property prices aren't rocketing in the same way, so it's difficult to see what could have caused such a sharp increase in receipts other than a more aggressive approach to inheritance tax. Inheritance tax receipts rose steadily until 2007-08 due to increases in house prices. Receipts then fell sharply due to both the introduction of the transferable nil rate ban for deaths introduced in October 2007 and in the aftermath of the financial crash as house prices declined. The taxman started to see them increase again in 2009-10 and then rise substantially in 2015-16 as a result of rising asset values and a higher number of deaths in the final months of 2014-15 compared to the same period in previous years. Although even now relatively few people pay it, it is hugely unpopular. The changes introduced in April mean that the additional residence allowance will only apply to wealth tied up in a person's main residence and can only be left to direct descendants, children, grandchildren, step, adopted or foster children. The threshold is slated to increase again to £125,000 in the 2018-19 tax year, £150,000 in 2019-20, and to £175,000 in 2020-21. So in 2020-21 a house worth pounds 1 million could be passed on tax-free if you use up your entire nil rate band allowances for both spouses or civil partners plus the additional residence nil rate bands for both. 